Today's news. Today's news. CBS News on the hour, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Tammy McCormick. The Biden administration says Israel has made some progress on allowing aid into Gaza, and therefore it will not limit arms transfers. State Department spokesman Vedant Patel. We've seen some uh, progress being made. We'd like to see uh, some more changes happen. We believe that had it not been for U.S. intervention, these changes uh, may not have ever taken place. Aid groups say it's not nearly enough. The announcement comes on the same day Israel's president visited the White House for talks with President Biden. Very gracious, very open, very friendly, and we had an open and frank discussion. CBS's Nancy Cordes reports there has been growing pessimism about a ceasefire in Gaza since the election. Even before Kamala Harris lost her bid for the White House last Tuesday, things were already looking pretty grim when it comes to this administration's ongoing efforts to broker some kind of peace deal. In Israel. Donald Trump announced today he's chosen former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee to be his ambassador to Israel. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are getting their priorities in order for the new Congress. Stacey Lynn has that. Democratic Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries says Americans are resilient. We're going to get through this political moment and continue to be the greatest country, in my view, in the history of the world. GOP House Speaker Mike Johnson says this is a new day in America. And he says we're ready to implement Donald Trump's America First agenda. We will work closely with him to turn this country around. Winds and dry conditions are keeping firefighters from gaining the upper hand on a stubborn wildfire along New Jersey's border with New York. New York Governor Kathy Hochul. We'd love to have no winds. The winds are going to reach 25 miles an hour today. And that is just going to create turmoil, chaos, and a lot of uncertainty that we don't need right now. The fires burn nearly 5,000 acres of brush and woodland. U.S. flights to Haiti are on hold because of the continuing violence there. Jim Kusula reports. The FAA has banned all civilian flights to Haiti for at least 30 days, suspending U.S. civil aviation operations in Haiti airspace below 10,000 feet. The move comes after two U.S. passenger planes were hit by gunfire amid escalating gang violence in the Caribbean nation. No one was hurt on the Spirit Airlines and JetBlue plane. A federal judge has blocked a new Louisiana requirement that the Ten Commandments be displayed in every public classroom by January 1st. The judge called it unconstitutional on its face. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cab News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 62 degrees in Fairfield, California.